Hey guys, this is Chris from Canadian Record Talk. That's what the C stands for. So we're going to do an episode of Five Records in Five Minutes. It's going to be based on Canadian contact tint. We got the Moose Police here. And in fact, we are going to concentrate on the province of Ontario. And if this goes well over, we may talk about other provinces, other parts of our northern neighbors. So this is probably the first Canadian album I ever bought. It's Rush, which may not be a surprise, but the fact that it's Grace Under Pressure with songs like Distant Early Warning and Red Sector A and The Body Electric, 1984, on cassette. And I still have the cassette. First Rush album I ever bought. And I actually was really was introduced to Rush through the early 80s sort of um, keyboardy version of Rush rather than the 70s proggy version. So uh, moving pictures, sub, uh, subdivisions off the Signals album, Tom Sawyer. Um, but this was actually the first Rush record I ever got. Uh, I was probably 14 or 15 uh, when I got this. Uh, something else I got around the same period of time would be another Canadian uh, power trio, of course, would be Triumph. And sort of like me getting starting my rush with Grace Under Pressure, I'm starting Triumph also in 1984 with Thunder 7. Um, I got an album for a couple bucks a few years ago. I had the cassette back in the day. Um, and so again... Um, obviously, Rick Emmett's the most noteworthy member of the group Triumph. Um, they were never as huge as Rush, but they certainly had their run again in the early 80s. And um, Thunder 7 was probably an album or two after their peak. You could probably say the same thing about Grace Under Pressure. Um Another album uh, a little bit later in the 80s, um, I think this was like 1987 or 1988, uh, we got the Timmons sibling, sib siblings, siblings with uh, the Cowboy Junkies, the Trinity Sessions. So you got Margot Timmons, the vocalist, and her brother Michael on guitar, another brother Peter on drums, and a few other people along the way as well. Um, and of course, not... Not sort of your hard rock power trio the way that Rush and Triumph were, which definitely would have appealed to me um, more as a teenager. And the Timmons were originally from Montreal, but apparently they moved to Toronto at some point in their childhood. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to share a Canadian female singer-songwriter. Um, I have a couple of examples I was going to flip a Canadian coin to decide which one to do, but I couldn't find a Canadian coin. So I decided to be neutral and go with the Euro. And so, oh, we got Tails. We got the Birdie. And so that means we'll show the second of my two uh, singers as they appear alphabetically. And this is just as well because she has a more Canadian sounding name anyway. Chantal Kreviazak, um, the 1999 album Color, Moving, and Still, um, spelling color in the British way because she's Canadian after all. Um, and so Chantal was actually born in Winnipeg but moved to Toronto. And um, this is pretty mellow, soft rock, folk rocky sort of stuff sort of along the lines of a Sarah McLaughlin, who I actually do not uh, have any albums by. And this was the other one that I was maybe going to show. But let's get into the final one, sort of how Rush started my Canadian journey. Here's my most recent Canadian pickup. Um, and so this is the Dark Monarchy uh, 2022. So you've got VC member Mark Anthony K, AKA Mark Pernicky and his uh, English colleague, Joe Bailey. Um, Mark also has his solo stuff as Project Gemini. And so this is their recently released single, end of 2022. And so, um, and this is very much uh, in the progressive metal uh, vein. So it kind of brings me full circle from Rush through Triumph, through Cowboy Junkies, through Chantal Krebiazek to the Dark Marn.